kind of thing. We're up to 41 that are published. And I can tell you two of them, um, three recently published, two of those that are recently published but haven't really made their way to mainstream yet in terms of us uh, presenting them you know, through formal marketing material. You've heard Dr. Manfred Lamprecht uh, talk to it on stage if you've come to big conferences, uh, are, are really earth shattering. Uh, Omega blend, for example. We've conducted a trial on our new Omega blend product, pr the best product we've introduced ever in terms of how it's made its way into a prominence amidst our powerful product line. And the study looked at in particular this Omega-3 index. So that's essentially, uh, a level of omega-3 in your blood that's associated with entering into a kind of an optimized zone for health as it concerns omega-3. And that's a known number, a known index, they call it. There's also a known dose that's usually required to get there and a known period of time that's usually required to get there. We achieved that index with half the dose and half the time. And so when we saw those numbers, Manfred was like, oh my God, uh, it's going to be hard for the community of Omega, the Omega world, to really believe this. And so the first thing we did was we, we sent our results, our, our, our product test results to five different labs to make sure we were actually identifying how much was in there for Omega 3, 5, 6, 7, 9. And it validated what we thought. We, it, there was exactly what was in, we thought was in there. It wasn't us making a mistake that, oh, my God, we understated. It was what we thought. But what it screamed to all of us was synergy. It has to be synergy to achieve half the dose and half the time. And when we go public with this, with the right support, it's really going um, really to send a message to the world of, of Omega that we've figured something else that's extremely powerful. The other one, Carrie, is going to be even harder to talk about. And you've heard us talk about it over years because it took a while. I remember my first product VP conference presentation in Phoenix of 2015, I want to say, um, talking about this one. It was conducted at the University of Colorado and the University of Padua, Italy. And it's the fourth or fifth study where they didn't actually do new work. They looked retrospectively on a body of work that we had already done. In this case, they looked at seven different trials that we had published. And they also looked at separate trials that had been published on other, other juices. And basically they took all the different findings from those seven trials of ours, and they extrapolated that using mathematical algorithms to express that in terms of, this is where it gets challenging to choose the words <laughs> because we don't pick the words, right? When things get published, we didn't write it. We, did, we were part of designing a study to make sure it actually um, unveils something interesting so it gets published, but we certainly don't choose the words to describe the findings. And so let's just say measured uh, over a 10 year period, US population, they were measuring the number of, let's call them heart health incidents uh, to the tune of 60 some million that they would have, we would have avoided 60 some million incidents of heart health had theoretically had the US population been on Juice Plus for those years. There was also a correlating healthcare cost reduction that's measured in uh, north of $100 billion. So this is published. It's out there. It was accepted as uh, worthy of publication. We just need to find a way to talk about it because it's also going to be earth shattering.